everyone. Thank you for joining me here once again at Float Arts by Elsa. I am going to show you the dry piece for my previous video. It's dried beautifully. Nothing's shifted on me, so I'm happy. So I'm going to show you that now. Take a look at this. Look how gorgeous it is. And it does have a beautiful shine, depending on how the light catches it. But take a look at that gorgeous absolutely beautiful tell me what you guys think about this it is a 20 by 20 level 3 canvas and i guess you can choose your orientation right i prefer this way but whoever purchases it's however you like so this is the painting leave your comments in the comment section below tell me what you think about it and I'm going to show you something that I had started and then I put to the side. And recently I picked it back up. I embellished it with uh, my Cricut. And I want to show you how it turned out. And this is what I've done right here. Take a look how gorgeous that is. And this does have a beautiful shine as well in the background. Because the background is a Dutch pour. Um, but it's a chaos style so look how beautiful that is tell me what you guys think do you like this piece um and it sits like inside i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna resin it um and it will be ready so take a look at that that will also be on my website floatartsbyelsa.com let me see if i have a a size for you so this is a 15 by 23 inch and it's a wood panel. Take a look at the back. It's a wood panel. So that's what I have. And we'll take a look and see what we're gonna be working on tonight. I'll show you once we get down to the table. So without further ado, meet me down at the canvas. Okay, everyone, so here we are. I'm gonna tell you we have here a 24 by 30 inch canvas. You see my tape along the side in a diagonal and a little circle here. So what I'm going to be doing here is a replica of my oval beach that I did in one of my previous long time ago video, maybe like nine, ten months ago. I am going to show you a picture of it right here. So that is what I am attempting to do again, but on a square or rectangular canvas instead of an oval and at, at a slight different angle so i'm going to be using the same colors i'm going to be doing the same technique for the water and we'll see how this one turns out so i'm going to show you the colors first i am using nickel titan yellow by amsterdam my next color is azel orange by amsterdam then I have Titanium White by Amsterdam, followed by Brilliant Blue by Amsterdam. And my last color at the top is the Primary primary Cyan, oh, Cyan by Amsterdam. So Primary Cyan, my top color for uh, the top as it gets darker going up. And then my second part will be the ocean um so that is what we're gonna go ahead and get started i am gonna start i'm gonna speed you guys up so you don't have to suffer through this um and i'll be back with you let's get started
So we are ready for step two. And now we're gonna do our Dutch pour flow um, like a beach. Um, down here somewhere, I'm gonna put some of the lighter uh, sandy color just because I wanna make sure that we have at least some kind of a sense of land. Um, so I'm gonna start with my beach colors first. And I'm using Payne's Gray by Creative Inspirations. Um, and I'm gonna just drizzle on some of this dark color, okay? So just like that. Next color, I'm using a little bit of Blue Black Indigo by Atelier. So I'm gonna put some of this down. And I don't have a lot in the bottle. So I'm gonna have to make this work. Okay, that's good. <clears throat> Next color I'm using, Brilliant Blue by Amsterdam. Next, I have Turquoise Blue by Amsterdam. Next color I have Greenish Blue by Amsterdam. So I'm just mixing these blue colors in here to create depth. So my bottom, bottles are out. Now I have um, turquoise blue by Amsterdam. So this is my lighter colors coming this way. Okay. I have some pearl white by Amsterdam. Now, I am adding a little bit of yellow here where the sun is, and I'm using Primary Yellow by Amsterdam because I want some of that sun reflected in the water. So it's going to be something minimal, but I want to add it going down like this. Something like that. <clears throat> and I want some of the orange as well, so Azel Orange. as well. Like that. And I'm going to come in with the pan scurry once again here. Because I want these colors to flow. Okay. 
I'm just filling in some areas. Okay, so I think that looks good. Okay, my water looks good. <clears throat> now, I do want to add a little bit of Naples Yellow by Grumbacher. Um, it's a little darker, but it kind of resembles uh, the beach, the sand, when it's a little wet, is darker. So that's what I want to use here. Just to represent like the darker um, sand on the edge here. Okay. And then I'm using Milky White by Master's Touch for the sand. So milky white, and that will be right here. There. I'm just gonna open this up so I can get this milky white in just like that. And I think we are looking good here. Maybe have too much paint, but um, I think we're good. All right, so let's torch out these bubbles before we spread this out. some more of this up here okay more over here just to help it flow okay all right so let's go ahead get started we're gonna blow this out creating kind of some waves here I'm going to go that way and this way because I want those colors to mix for me
Okay, I think this looks great. I love the movement. The only thing I want to work on is a little bit over here because I want more of this yellow coming down like this. So I'm going to add. And the only thing I'm doing is I have a little paintbrush with the bottom of the stick. I'm just... Um, grabbing a little bit of the color and just dragging it through. So that's what I'm doing from the bottle. Just dragging some of that yellow through right above here, just like that. Just creating some of that effect, just like that. Not a lot. Just a little bit only because I want the yellow reflected in the water as well. I'm super happy with how this looks, super happy. So here, I'm gonna cover the canvas. Yes, so I love the motion. I think it's beautiful, okay. I'm going to leave that. I'm going to torch it out a little bit. Happy with the sand and the cells that it created on the sand. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay. So there we are. Okay, I'm gonna clean up my edges. I'm gonna bring you down for a close-up. I am super happy with how this looks. So here is the ocean side, and I'm going to show you. I love it. I love the cells. Look at the uh, sand, right? And then how the water uh, falls into, mixes with the sand, creates those cells. It looks like the ripples of the water hitting the sand here. Love it. Absolutely gorgeous. I love how it goes from that light turquoise into like the darker ocean colors. And look at the movement in this water. I am so happy that I was able to achieve this. It just looks stunning. I love it. Tell me what you guys think. Um, do you like this? Do you like the ripples? Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. I think it captures the waves, the depth as it goes into the horizon. And then here is where I added those shades of orange and yellow because I wanted that reflected from the sun at the top, remember, as we did. You won't be able to see it here. Um, when I remove the tape, I want to get, I want to let it sit for a little bit and just um, dry a little bit more before I remove that tape because I don't want a disaster happening here. But look how gorgeous. I will be back 
with the piece once I peel that tape off so you can take a look and see. But in the meantime, tell me what do you guys think? I love it. I'm super happy. These beach, um, whenever I create them, are very popular and they go fast. Um, so let's see um, if I have any takers on this one. So I'll be back to show you the piece once it dries. Thank you again for watching Fluid Arts by Elsa. And you all have a great day. Bye.